God created man and woman and said, It is not good that they be alone. For this reason, a man and woman will leave their parents and be joined together, and the two will become one flesh. Ephesians 5.25, in speaking of marriage, says to you, Ryan, that you must love Abby just as Christ loved the church, which is a willingness to lay down his life for her. No longer are you to look out for your own needs first, but you are to be a servant to your wife by which you must daily lay down your life. Abby, likewise. You are told to respect and support Ryan in all he does, and you're to stand by him as you walk together in love. You are also called by God to be a servant to your husband, to hold his needs above your own and seek his good above your own as well. If you both enter this relationship to be givers of love, then you will know the joy of receiving love, and that's the love that has brought you here today. Who gives this woman to be married? We do. And now if you, Abby Rose Langos and Ryan Austin Zachary Rainey, have at present appeared for the purpose of being joined in legal wedlock, you will please signify this intention by uniting your hands. Pass that off. Give it to her. Can you guys hold hands? <laughs> you make me seated, everybody. Well, today's an exciting day at a very, very beautiful place for an incredible couple. And um, on behalf of the couple and the family, they want to say thank you so much, everyone that came to support them. And we know this is just the beginning of the journey, so it's a lifelong commitment to each other, but also the families coming together to uh, support them and to love them. So thank you for being here on this beautiful day and this beautiful part of property. This is, this is just perfect. Um, my relationship with Abby is I was her youth pastor, and uh, I had her for almost four years, I think, in, in the youth group. And uh, I, can, I can say this, I, I was a part of a lot of really big, impactful moments in her life. I mean, just a few months ago, we were doing your graduation service and now this and um, I've, I've been on trips with Abby and camps and serving on mission trips and I've just seen her heart uh, for people I've seen her heart for God and I've seen her heart grow and blossom for you and she has prayed for you over and over and over and over again um, I can tell you many services you're on her heart she says I want to pray for Ryan I know he's working hard or he might be traveling or just, just that he will sense you, God. You know, all that type of stuff. She loves you, and so I've watched this blossom. Uh, you know, from my perspective as a youth pastor, but I've also seen Abby grow into the woman that she is, and she's an incredible woman. And one of the, one of the qualities I love so much and appreciate about Abby, that's also going to be fun for you, is when she gets her mind made up. I don't think there's any change in it at all. <laughs> she, she's very determined, strong-willed, and strong sets her mind to something and honestly that's what has made this relationship work despite you being apart um, having to move and distance and different age and you're a year ahead and all the stuff that you went through she had her mind and her heart made up on you and and so I believe in you guys and I'm so excited for you guys and Ryan I, I don't know Ryan that well but I will say what I know of Ryan there's qualities in him that's gonna make an incredible husband he's hardworking he's funny and he's caring and I know that she's in good hands and this family is, is excited to welcome you. And so I just want to open with a word of prayer and then we'll get into the ceremony um, and just invite the Lord. But I just want to say it's an honor that I get to do this with you guys and for you guys. And, and Andrea and I, my wife and our church and the people here, we're here with you guys for this whole journey. So whatever you need. So Lord, I thank you so much uh, for this time together right now, this incredible celebration of the love between Abby and Ryan, God this declaration that they're going to spend the rest of their lives with each other, God, loving each other, Lord. Help them right now in this moment. Enjoy the moment and not be nervous and not be worried and just embrace each second as it goes, God. It's a special, momentous day and it's incredible. So Holy Spirit, we ask that you draw close and you just make the ceremony special for them, Lord. And we thank you and we celebrate, God, you, your love, and this couple today in Jesus' name. Amen. So Ryan, we'll get right to business. <laughs> Will you take the woman who you now hold by, hold by the hand to be your lawful and wedded wife, and will you promise in the presence of God in this gathering of family and friends to love, honor, and cherish her in sickness and in health, for richer, for poorer, for better, for worse, 
and forsaking all others, keep thee only unto her for as long as you both shall live. I do. He also has some personal vows in his <laughs> <in> share. <laughs> I lost my paper once. So did I. <laughs> See if I can make it through it. <laughs> this woman before me is my better half. Oh my God. She's my best friend and love of my life. She's the goofiest, most caring person I know. She's pu pure beauty through and through. Abby. I knew I loved you the night we danced in the back of that beat up red truck. <laughs> Overlooking the city lights. I vow to be your ears when you need someone to listen and your shoulder to cry on. I vow to be the best version of myself for you and one day our children. I vow to be always faithful and cherish every moment with you till our last. And lastly, I vow to love you so long as I live. You will always be my Friday night. <laughs> I just want to hug him. That's not hug fair. Me. <laughs> Can hug him. That's why we're here. You love each other. <laughs> Abby, will you take the man whom you now hold by the hand to be your lawful and wedded husband? We promise in the presence of God, in this gathering of family and friends, to love, honor, and cherish Him in sickness and health, for richer, for poor, for better, for worse, and forsaking all others, keep thee only unto Him for as, both, as long as you both shall live. I do. And Abby's got some vows too. Is it fun? <laughs> I lost mine too. At least I'm not having to scroll and find them in their phones. <laughs> okay. Mine aren't going to top that, but. Okay, Ryan, I remember telling my mom shortly before I met you that I was never getting married, having kids, and I was gonna live on my own and travel and do what I wanted. Two years later, it's crazy to see how God has changed my plan into much, much more. Now I'm standing in front of you today, my soon-to-be husband, in a couple minutes. <laughs> now I plan to have children with you, travel and grow with you. Ryan, you know how important plans are to me <laughs> and sticking to them. <laughs> But you show me that plans change and our love doesn't. From here on out, I vow to have your back no matter what may stand in front of us. I vow to love and cherish every part of you and keep you young even when you're old. I vow to be spontaneous with you and throw my plans out the door. I vow to be your number one supporter, best friend, and lover all in one. I love you, Ryan Reed. <laughs> Put that in your pocket. <laughs> We both mutually promise in the presence of God and these witnesses that you will at all times and in all circumstances conduct yourselves toward one another as becomes husband and wife, that you will encourage each other in your spiritual walk and that you will practice love as a giver more than a receiver, and that you will dedicate your home to the glory of God and that you will love, cherish, and adhere to one, one another until separated by death. We will. We, I will. We will. We will. We will. We will. We will. <laughs> I didn't practice this. <laughs> you know, the two of you in this moment become one. You know, you're officially married when we fill out the certificate, mail it in, and then, you know, the county clerk says you're married by the state. But right now in this moment, uh, God is joining you together as one. And he is, He's the one who binds us together. And Jesus taught this. He said, since there are no longer two but one, let no one split apart what God has joined together. In His Word, God's promise is to keep you united and in love. And if you seek Him, you're seeking His love, there is nothing that can separate this relationship the rest of your lives. They're going to signify uh, this, this eternal commitment by rings. And so hopefully we have those. <laughs> To? I'll start with you, Ryan. Do you give them to me? <laughs> yes. yeah, you can open it and grab the uh, the smaller ring, I'm guessing. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Ring bearer. There you go. There you go. Bearer of the ring. All right, Ryan. 
as a ceaseless reminder of this hour and the vows that you have taken, place this ring on the hand of your, your bride and repeat after me. With loyal love, I pledge you my life. With loyal love, I pledge you my life. And all things I have called my own. And all things I have called my own. I will gladly share with you. I will gladly share with you. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. Now it's Abby's turn. <laughs> Abby, as a ceaseless reminder of this hour and the vows that you have taken, place this ring on the hand of your groom and repeat after me. With loyal love, I pledge you my life. With loyal love, I pledge you my life. And all things I have called my own. And all things I have called my own. I will gladly share with you. I will gladly share with you. With this ring, I thee wed. As you've united hands and you have your rings on and having pledged pledge your faith in and love to each other and having sealed your solemn marital vows by the giving and the receiving of rings, acting in the authority vested in me in the state of Tennessee, I now pronounce you husband and wife in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We're going to have one more prayer before they get to kiss each other and send them off. Um, this is two families coming together too. And we know uh, with that it's work. I mean, it's, you have two lives being slammed together into one and you have families coming together. And so this is a moment I like to take to just pray for the unity of this family, to, to rally around this couple, to support them, to love them, and also to love each other. Um, I, mean, I can just speak from experience. Having great in-laws helps my marriage a lot. And having family that's become my family, it helps my life. And so I just want to pray over the, both of these families right now, to just as they come together around this couple, y'all are family now. And so that means you, you don't have to like each other, but you can love each other. So, But uh, let's pray. God, I just thank you so much for both of these families. Ryan's family, Abby's family, now they're all family. And God, I just pray that you're at the center of every relationship, God, and every friendship. Lord, we love this couple. We, su we support this new couple before you, God. But we also, as family and as friends, God, we commit to having their backs and also each other's. And Lord, that we realize we're coming, coming together as a new family. And this is exciting. And Lord, we just ask that you give us a heart of unity, a heart of love, and that we unite as a family and, and just support this couple in this great adventure they're on. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Without further ado, Ryan, you may kiss your bride. Awesome. Now I can officially introduce you guys as Mr. and Mrs. Ryan Rainey. We're celebrating. Yeah. <laughs> 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 right here. Like right. Okay. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.